Oh, what does the other guy look like? Look, could we just skip the amenities, please? I hope you didn't get that eye walking into a door. Can't very well sue a door, can we? We're not suing anyone. What do you mean? You're, you're just going to ignore what happened here? I think it's for the best. Who did this? Tracy. Don't let it bother you. She wouldn't tell me either. Why are you protecting the person? God, I don't want to talk about this right now. I'm feeling kind of woozy. I'd just like to go home. Woozy. So you get that? I hope you got that in your medical report, Harrison. Yeah, report. I'm going to tell you something about the report. It's going to be very incomplete. How come? No, because Tracy wouldn't allow me to give her a full examination. I don't even know she has other bruises. Tracy, why aren't you cooperating with the doctor? Look, I'd like to just forget about it. Is that too much to ask? This, this, this is very strange, okay? This is, this is not like you. Why are you being so passive? Well, maybe it's just a new side of me that you've never seen, Scott. I'd like to get to know this side. It might do you a little bit of good to talk about it. The only thing that would do me good is to keep quiet about it, as I always have in the past. Now, you mean this has happened before? Listen, Harrison, I I'm going to have to talk to her alone, okay? Certainly. If you need me, you know where to find me. Scott, I have nothing else to say. Tracy, we're talking about physical abuse, repeated abuse, right? Well, then you got to file a complaint for crying out loud. Who knows what will happen to you the next time? I can't handle this now, Scott. All right? Listen, 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 listen. listen. Just, just talk to me, okay? Right here. Tell me who did it. Trust me. I'll tell you everything. Well, your eyes coming along very nicely, Tracy. Actually, I think it's an improvement. Hey, hey, watch it, Monica. Oh, what are you going to do, Scotty? Sue me for hurting her feelings? This is serious stuff here. Tracy's been abused. I see. And this is not the first time it's happened. It's happened before and it's gone unreported. Well, I'd certainly like to hear about it. It's okay. You live in the same house. She's going to find out anyways. Right. It was Ashton. Ashton! <laughs> Look, I, I know how shocking this must seem to you, but you don't know him like I know him. The man has a a really vicious streak. He's insanely jealous. Tracy, how, how long has this been going on? A long time. Long enough to break up our marriage. Oh, give me a break, Tracy. This is ludicrous. Monica, please. Okay, Tracy, go on. Well, I know this is hard for you to accept, but... Ashton is very possessive of me, and he was insanely jealous of David McAllister. Ashton, jealous? He hated David. I didn't realize how much until today. Tracy, so what exactly happened last night? Well, I, I, I found a, a marred photograph of David and me in Ashton's room, and I'm... It, I made the mistake of questioning him about it, and he went berserk. I, I was I was lucky to get out of his room alive. Well, I'm not going to ask you why you haven't exposed Ashton before, but why won't you let Harrison give you the examination? Come on, Tracy. The whole story. All right, Scott. I I didn't I didn't want to name names because I'm convinced that it was. That it was Ashton that killed David McAllister. What? Listen, Tracy, you've got to go see Harrison, all right? You've got to finish the examination. I can't do no, it, Listen, God. listen to me, listen to me. We can beat the murder rap with this. All right, I guess you're right. Oh. You okay? What's the matter? Oh, I just feel faint. Monica, you're a doctor, for crying out loud. Would you get her a glass of water? How about a glass of truth serum? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. Dr. Harrison is going to be very glad that you changed your mind. Scott, what am I going to do when Ashton finds out what I've done? I'm with you all the way on this. Scott, you know I'm putting my life in your hands, don't you?
by any chance if uh, Tracy is still in the hospital? Oh. Well, I guess I've answered my own question. Tracy, how are you feeling? I'm so glad you let Dr. Davis examine you. Yes, unfortunately, there were no other bruises. Hmm. Do you need a cab? No, thank you. I told Scott that I would wait for him here, but thank you very much. Here, let me help you. What are you doing? I'm trying to help you, my dear. You think for one minute I believe that story you concocted? You think I made it up? You're going to try to tell me you didn't? It may be shocking to you, Monica, but then, you know, they always say you never know what goes on behind closed doors. It's what goes on in that brain of yours that amazes me. Hi. We were told Tracy Quartermain was in here. Where can we find her? Over there. The happy one with the black eye. <laughs> Tracy Quartermain? Yes. We've been ordered to bring you down to headquarters. What for? Uh, just come along, Miss Quartermain. Excuse me, it's not me that you want. It's my ex-husband. No, ma'am, it's you. You know, if Robert Scorpio was still commissioner, you would not be manhandling me like this. If you don't mind me saying so, ma'am, that China's quite beautiful. Gee, who asked you, officer?